Oh hi guys, it's Ted here. Look, I know it's been a while and I know I say that in literally all of my videos, but things have gotten so, so crazy. Things have gotten so out of hand. I haven't even really gotten a chance to upload a video for you guys. If you haven't, the last video was a teaser trailer for my newest project. Unfortunately, that's not this video. That'll be a few videos in the future because we uh, had some major delays, but we're working on some projects for film class, so those videos should be coming out to the channel soon. That's why I've been gone for about a month. I told you guys I was coming back and then I up and leave again. I know. I'm like your dad that tells you he's going to the store and then never comes back. Except I actually come back. I just come back really late. <laughs> Anyways, today I thought we would do something very different, so I'm gonna let me from another location take it away. So, uh, take it away, me. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, I've got some Pringles now, so, uh, oh, by the way, Snailman Studios, if you're watching this, yeah, I stole your Pringles. Uh, I didn't steal them, you left them here. But, you know, today I wanted to do something kind of special to me, because one of my favorite YouTubers of all time that I've been watching since probably 2012 is PewDiePie, or Felix Gjeldberg. Love him so, so much. He has inspired me and a lot of my well, friends. He's one of the greatest YouTubers ever. So, unless you've been sleeping under a rock or you're actually stupid, you might know about this whole thing going on between T-Series and PewDiePie, and everyone saying, sub to PewDiePie. So I thought today we would do our part. Alright, so I know we don't have the biggest following on this channel. I mean, we're only at 86 subscribers, which is amazing, by the way, because we are literally so close to 100 subscribers, you guys, but different video, different day. Anyways, I figured since we can't really make that much of a difference here on YouTube, I would try to make a difference in my real life. What I did is I went ahead and I made some posters in Photoshop, uh, pretty much saying sub to PewDiePie. They're not the best, they're not the best, they're very low quality, but it's because I made them both in probably four minutes. So I ended up printing out about 55 of them, so we're gonna go around my town and school and start uh, hanging them up pretty much, doing our part, because, you know, if you're not subscribed to PewDiePie, if I find out that there's any subscribers on this channel that aren't subscribed to PewDiePie, What's wrong with you, dude? What's wrong with you? You make me sick. Also, if this is your first time hearing about PewDiePie, which I really don't think it is because that's just kind of stupid at this point, but if it is, uh, seriously check him out. Hilarious videos all the time, every single day. There'll be a link in the description to subscribe to him, because like I said, I'm not going to be a very big help here on YouTube. I mean, we got 86 peeps behind us, which isn't bad. It's just for spreading a message, not the best. So, the following events are what happened after I decided to make these uh, posters and print them out. So, here we go. So, just checked, uh, the sub gap, because I was interested. Yesterday when I checked, it was 70,000, and, uh, as of right now, it's, uh, it's dropping, guys. That is at 53,000. Like I said, I don't expect to make a really big difference, because we don't really have a lot of traction, but that's okay, because, like, I, it makes me feel better to do my part. You know, to give back to someone who's given me an inspiration, comedy, entertainment, for literally six years of my life. That, that is insane. It's the least I can do for you, Felix. Nothing but a bitch lasagna You got a population of 1.32 billion But most your videos can't seem to get even a million Subbot Alright, so that, uh is the red posters done These are all cut out and ready to be hung up Now, on to the blue boys the hell is Bob and why you wanna kiss him? Ew. I'm a blue eyes white dragon while you're just dark magician. Oof. You got a fifth of the population in your nation, but I got 90 rolls of worlds to hold your defecation. Multipotla, what the fuck is that even supposed to mean? Your language sounds like it come from a mumbo rap community. No papa, no papa, yes papa, Johnny. Now down all of the sugar and let's throw this fucking party with space. Alright guys, update. It's been about uh, 22 minutes we've been cutting these out and we officially have them cut out. So here they are, uh, the final products. We got uh, this lovely blue sub to PewDiePie and this lovely uh, red sub to PewDiePie. But now, I guess the next time you're going to see me, uh, we are going to be first going around my school, finding all the best locations to put up uh, these flyers saying sub to PewDiePie. And then we're going to be going around my town. The only sh thing is, is that today is Friday, and it's also, we have break next week, so I have to wait a whole week to get these people's reactions of all these posters, and hopefully, like, the custodians won't take down the posters by then. I'm going to put them into, like, bathrooms and stuff, but... Alright, Ted from the future, what are we doing? Alright, update, you guys. So, here we are. We're on the streets. I'm going to another teacher's class, because I just realized I need something to put up the flyers with, like, tape or staples. So, I'm gonna go steal a stapler. Or, uh, if I steal, I mean I'm gonna go borrow and probably not return a stapler. And some tape as well. Uh, I'll catch you guys back.
when I have the supplies that I need. All right. All right, so we're back in the school. We got the, the stapler, we got some tape as well. I guess it's time to go scout out some locations and hang up some flyers. All right, here we are at our first location, uh, the school bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. So in total, we have 55 posters. Hopefully we can make them last though throughout the town and the school and everything. I think we should put it in the stall. Oh uh, yeah. All right, you guys, one down, 54 to go. So we just finished our first location. We've got uh, two flyers here. We've got uh, one right above the urinals here. And we got one in the stall as well, of course. So I think I just found my favorite placement. I'm here with my friend. Would you like to say hello to my audience? Nice. That's how he says hello. Anyways, I think I found my favorite placement right over here, you guys. Uh, this is this is one of the main billboards that you see like right by the front door. So hopefully this guy uh, this builds some tension, There's some traction to uh, Felix. Hopefully he can get some more subs this way. All right, on to the next billboard. All right, guys. A little update. So my friend is uh, coming on the journey with us. The journey to save PewDiePie's YouTube channel. All right, we just uh, found another billboard. This will be an excellent one. Hey, you want to put one up? All right, red or blue? Red or blue, mystery friend. Red. Okay. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to tell them your name? John. Nice. Do you have any social media they can find you on? I'm fat nerd boy on Twitter. Link in the description. All right. Here is your poster, sir. Uh, first things first. You are going to need uh, an instrument of evil torture. Let me. Let me. Hurry up. Get my uh, handy dandy stapler out of here. Hell yeah. All right, on to the next. All right guys, so update, we have just uh, put up, I don't know, maybe a good like 20, 25 uh, PewDiePie posters, what would you say? I was looking around for like Five? Oh, he was. Yeah, so all together we put up 20 or so. Here's a quick montage of every location that we hit. Alright guys, so we're outside now, we put up all the posters in the school, uh, sorry for the shit audio, I mean, the wind is kind of blowing, so it's probably going to sound like someone speaking directly into a microphone. So now, I'm going to drop this boy off and wherever he needs to go on his adventure, and then we're going to go around my town and hang up the rest of the posters to support Felix in this hard time. So, you got anything to say? <laughs> well, uh... Alright, so I'll catch you back uh, when I get to Main Street. <laughs> Alright, so we're out on the town. You can put this one up if you want. There you go. Lasagna. She's on there. How do you feel? I feel like I did something today. You know what you did? I'm very proud of myself. You did your part. Yes, I did. Yeah. I haven't done my part yet because I have a YouTube channel, but now I've well, done my part. What is this? There's just a random chair out here. Yes, there is. Oh, for just sitting? Oh, that could be a PewDiePie reference. Oh, Mr. Shaq. Well, guys, this is uh, the end of the adventure for our friend John here. Uh, thank you so much for accompanying us on the journey, man. It was, yeah. uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm and glad I know. I got to help, man. I'm, yeah. I'm glad I got someone to walk me back to where I need to go. Yeah, well, I, I know Felix would appreciate it in the long run. I know he's gonna appreciate everything you do. So, yeah. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh. 
All right, you guys, so we just dropped off our good friend John. Appreciate all the help again. Thanks, man, if you're watching this video. It means a lot to me that you are a nine-year-old alongside the rest of us. Also, I decided that I'm going to hit up uh, Main Street at my town tomorrow. Mainly because it's kind of late. I'm getting kind of tired, kind of hangry. So tomorrow, I'm going to go out into town, and I'm going to put up the rest of the subscribe to PewDiePie posters. And we'll see where life takes us from there. So until then, I will see you tomorrow. Coat transition. Whoa. All right, so it's uh, it's tomorrow. As you can see by this bean over here, I'm with Mr. Munzee 15. What's up, Mr. Munzee? I ain't no bean. So Mr. Munzee 15 is here with me because I told him about this whole thing that I'm doing for PewDiePie, and we're gonna go put up some flyers. He he decided he wants to do it with me. Actually, that's not true. I'm uh, forcing him against his will. So that's what we're doing. We are gonna go around and start putting up some flyers. Qua. All right. So here's where we're starting off. All right. So w would you like to put up your very first subscribe to PewDiePie poster? Yes. All right. I'm gonna ask you a specific question first. Red or blue? I'm gonna say blue because dentist does what Nintendo don't. Okay. Well, let's see here. You said blue? Yes. All right. All right. Here you are, my good sir. I seen Gary come home. I'm pretty sure I know what to do. N yeah, there you go. <clears throat> You're gonna put want to put one on the uh, each corner as well. Oh uh, yeah, look at that sexy phone pull. Oh, oh. One down, a lot more to go. Are you ready? Okay. All right. On a side note, I also don't know if we're gonna like stop at every single telephone pole just because I want to spread out the flyers evenly. So we'll say like every other telephone pole. Cause we put up a, a blue one last time. I'm gonna put up a red one just for the variety aspect, you know. Swedish telephone pole. All right. Tally ho. Oh yeah. Cinematic shot. Ah. Oh, that didn't go through. Go through! You're having trouble. So up to you guys, we just ran out of staples on the first stapler. Luckily, I brought a second one for this exact reason. Ha <laughs> Okay. Hopefully we've got... Okay, we don't have a lot of staples left, so we're really gonna have to preserve these things. Cool. Okay. So, here's what I say. No- Oh, shoot. Alright. No more than about... Oh crap, four staples per poster. Come How on. many staples do we have? Not a lot. That one was jammed though. You teddy fuck. Such okay. language. Okay, I on to the next. Okay, that's gonna have to suffice. So, update you guys, we are at the local uh, playground outside of the elementary school here. We're gonna put up some flyers because we're gonna influence kids to subscribe to PewDiePie. We we're gonna get actual nine-year-olds for you, Felix. We're gonna influence these little kids to uh, subscribe to PewDiePie. I do know that that's a, that's a PewDiePie flyer on a tree. Hopefully we don't get arrested for this. Love you, Felix. Wait, there's an important question I have to ask you. What? Mr. Monday 15, are you subscribed to PewDiePie? Uh... Hey, you give me back! Haha, <laughs> trick question. One time, I w was on his computer without his know-how, and I subscribed him to PewDiePie. You son of a bitch! Ah! That was a trick question. I already knew he was subscribed. I subscribed to PewDiePie for him, so you're welcome. All right, you guys, so it's reaching the end of the second night, technically. We put up about 15 or so flyers around town on telephones and uh, trees. We're gonna put up the rest tomorrow, mainly because we're running out of staples and daylight and patience. Anything you want to say? Bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. T-Series ain't nothing but a bitch lasagna. <laughs> All right, guys, it's day three in the act of saving PewDiePie. Back again with Mr. Munzee. Hello. Uh, so, we put up some flyers last night, as, as you saw. I put up a little more off-camera after I dropped Mr. Munzee off. But today, we're trying a new tactic, because I woke up this morning and the sub gap was at 23,000. And right before I met up with Mr. Munzee here, uh, it was 16,000. So, <laughs> we're losing the battle, boys. We're not going down without a fight, that's for sure. We're so, down, but we're not out. So, I brought <laughs> my guitar with me. We're going to go out to Main Street, and I'm going to play an acoustic version of Bitch Lasagna in hopes of getting Pewds more subscribers. I should have brought my fedora if we were going to street perform. <laughs> well, that's okay. So we are going to see you guys on Main Street. Anything to say? Yeah, I might dance. Can I use you as a transition? Sure. <laughs> 
So, sorry for the awful lighting, but I just played bitch lasagna on the guitar on a loop for like 45 minutes while uh, Mr. Munzee danced and held up pliers. I got someone to honk at me. Yeah, we also got some change from someone. Uh, yeah. It felt kind of bad. We didn't want it. We were just trying to tell people to subscribe to PewDiePie, but I think we might have converted someone. Right now, we're going to go find another location to play. I'm trying to get feeling back in my hands first, and we're going to continue to play bitch lasagna, and hopefully T-Series can eat a fat dick. Alright guys, so update, we uh, went to our second location, we decided, I don't know why, but it went from us playing uh, bitch lasagna in town to filming a mini little music video, so while we were filming in one location, we got bitched at by some people we've never met. We weren't even filming in their general vicinity, like, at all, and they were like, oh yeah, hey, don't, don't film over here, and we were like, uh, dude, we're not, we're filming a music video. And he's like, no, I just saw you, and I was like, apparently you weren't fucking looking hard enough because we did not have a camera pointing at you, mother. I wouldn't watch your ugly mug in my video anyways. It was it was pretty f***ing stupid. So, if you happen to come across this video, the one who bitched us out, uh, you can take this finger right here and shove it right up your ass. Uh, give them something to take reference off of, because they have no film of what they look like. So with that being said, with all the posters- Oh, shit. So with that being said, with all the posters hung up, we sang Bitch Lasagna made a music video for it. This is the end of the video. Alright, we'll catch you guys with a proper goodbye. Try to dethrone me from the spot number one. But bitch lasagna, bitch lasagna. Look at T-Series, they just crying for their mama. Bitch lasagna, bitch lasagna. Look at T-Series, they ain't nothing but a bitch lasagna.